have you ha, have you had a case where you vented frustration in a public way that you regretted after the fact or wish you'd handled differently? Uh, regret's a strong word, but one that I look back on and sort of shake my head was um, I was very young. When was this? I'm trying to come up with a year for you, Tim, and I don't know, but I was probably 22 or something like that, and I was a, I was a real, I was a nobody then, so nobody knew who I was, and I just made a movie with my brother about bicycle theft in New York City, and they invited us on morning local morning news to to talk about bike theft, and they wanted us to recreate a bike being stolen, um, and we showed up there and. This woman, who was the uh, the host of the morning uh, of the morning news, was so rude to us because um, we were just kids. We we're two kids and show up early in the morning. She was so rude to us and so mean to us. Um, and then she swore at her intern in front of us, and we're just like, "My God, this woman! Who does she think she is?" So we we kind of pranked her on air, and my brother pretended to cut cut me when he was releasing the bike. And I, this was, I want to say, like maybe when YouTube had just come out. This was like so it had to have been two thousand five, two thousand six, and that scene went crazy, crazy, crazy viral. Um, and it's basically this woman talking to the camera about what's taking place and here they are demonstrating a bike lock and then all of a sudden I start screaming and drop to the ground and squeeze ketchup <laughs> packets all over myself. And, and at no point in time did anyone, especially the the woman, think that it was real. I'm not a very good actor. Um, I had ketchup packets all over me and my brother was like shaking his head. Um, but her response is what got people so excited because she freaked out. Um, <laughs> she very quickly turned into that werewolf that was swearing at interns earlier in the day and in any event um <laughs> it became this huge story it was all over the new york post and it was like uh, you know they it, they vilified her and it was whatever it was what it was but looking back at it like i'm not a huge fan of pranks i'm not a huge fan at a laugh that's at someone else's expense and i think so much of the response to that was was out of context. Like the world didn't know that this that we that I was doing this because this woman was mean to me. The world just saw me being kind of like a a, a prankster, and that's an image that I don't like to project. So the, the fact that it was miscontextualized, um, I think, is sort of a silly uh, was a silly thing. That was it, the the bike thief. Yeah, not and not the video itself. Just this yeah. this little prank that we pulled on air. I think right. that it was it sort of lacked the. Um, it lacked the societal or cultural relevance of maybe some of my other uh, yippee movies that that definitely had a purpose. This was much more of just a just a being a jerk prankster kind of guy, which is definitely not how I would describe anything else that I've ever done in the tenure of my career. 